Yo, there's a Ricky Chupa, the serial killer. Let me tell you something. The rest are podcasts, them don't make no sense. So you have to check out what? My two cents podcast with two locks, the 876 Rebel. And that you have to check out. Who's that Ricky Chupa, the serial oh, killer? Mix up, we never had the mix up. We fix up this thing, them when them want fix up. Like who I tell you, like who I get them mix up. And I'm not the person, I don't get it twisted up. Blessed, welcome to another episode of the My Two Cents Pod Class. I'm your host, Tolax the 876 Rebel. And as usual, today's episode will be brought to you by Rebel 13 Collections, where creativity lives. We also do everything printing except finger printing. We also offer the finest and best in embroidery services in the island. Check us out at 876-8989-888. And also, to get directly to updated merchandise, you can just simply follow us on Rebel 13 Collections on Instagram. Also brought to you by AV Auto Body Repairs. Check them out on Instagram at AV Auto Body Repairs. Them fully auto. Still a reminder of them. Check out Curly Lux book, Planet Earth. Available on all digital platform. Available in Jamaica. Jamaica deals. That. Come. Yeah, yeah. Me no friend. Me no family. What make them switch? Mm. The mountains stabbing on me back when me get from them No stitch can't fix Them I call themselves big man and I quan like Mitch What make them switch? What make them switch? If you need money, me a lend Give you my last breath if you need oxygen You appreciate when I need that coming I know who time next Remember we only human beings and humans get wet Now my bin in your shoe So me nothing and nobody come between me and them Alright I'm not nah, like me that forgot way over in a Trinidad Go find a bad artist here I introduce him to the item when I know him yet. That is the name Zerimar out of Trinidad and that song is named Switch. Everybody have that one friend there. We mean the world to them. We even if them are not immediate family, they are family. Same way. It's so me I say, no matter what we have, no matter what we got you, no matter what they jump off go, we are still family. You have some friend who treat you a million times better than family. I mean no whole heap of people can relate to that junior. That you tell him Zerimar. I want to pick up the whole of Trinidad. Panabad Sanya. Seeing so no go on over Zerimar Viva and make him no say a two locks send him. Stop feel like less. When me tell you if you do something with us one you be the best. In everything you do me and your big brother yes. See them switch. The mountains stabbing on me back when me get from them no stitch can fix. So you really come and take up for Bounty Clan, be the man. Alright, watch me on you. Then we can go merciless funeral, you pussy clan. Alright, so the episode you know is a special episode, where I say. Basically a tribute and a remembrance in the life of Leonard St. Ledger Bartley, aka Merciless. You see me? One of the baddest DJ to ever come out of Jamaica. Now, I see a lot of things going as it relates to the passing of Merciless, whole heap of controversy, saying basically a lot of people feel some type of way about how the industry, a lot of people include myself, about how the industry deal with Merciless. But I can explain to you know, how the music you go, the music you set up in the stages. You have the A class, B class, C class, D class. Because yes, believe it or not, you have the A class where them consider that I diva them, that the artists them are not like nobody, and everybody like them. I find it comparable to classism, like how the class system move. I am so better than you, and you're below me. You have some artists who feel like, for example, them on the top of top ten, them around the whole place. Them feel like an artist where them consider as B class. Nothing call them for you. Know. You can't dial them straight and get them. You know. The B class arts have to go through people to talk to them. In. Yes. And if something should have happened between the B class artists and the A class artists, and the B class artists say something publicly because they can't reach the A class artists, guess what the first thing the A class artists will say? You should have called me. Oh, fuck your business this way now. You have artists when I talk to artists, none at all based on how they think so the artists they're there, levels wise. I'm not sure no how it's funny. Then put in at the A class because you manage to achieve holy, especially wealth. Them people don't really care where you achieve. 
as it relates to accolades. What they mostly care about is what you achieve financially. So, them put in an A class fear riches. But if you're in an A class and you're 10 times richer by achievements, accolades, everything, then put in a B class based on the fact. So you're simple and you carry yourself a specific way. If you're simple enough to remember which way you come from and you treat them same people and you show a whole heap of things to this, you know? You decide to so you not switch from the people. And before your boss, you used to, you know, I go market, sit down with them and you yeah, sell two fruits and you did it, did it, did it. Then your boss. And you come back around the market with them, come sit down, see me, all the vibes, they buy juice, everybody, because you have it now. You see them same people where you come back, come sit down, monks. And them same one put you in a B class because of that, you know. So if you decide to so you remain humble, your humility will be immediately used against you. You're simple and you're dead, you know them starting out? Take liberty. Because if you there sit down with me as a broke man, it must mean that you don't have the type of money where we did think you have, how we think you're supposed to have. So guess what we're gonna do? We're treat you like we are the same thing. Familiarity, breed, contempt. Holy but art is simple and they remain and they refuse to change. What happened to them after a while? B class, C class. Even when they're not broke. Even when them get the most achievements, if them decide to stay amongst the people, the same people them, these people don't see the same, them see a normal. What do you think happened to Tabby Diamond? Where a man could approach Tabby Diamond from the mighty diamonds and put gunshot on him? Because he refused to change and become somebody outside of himself. And who him comfortable with, just like merciless. He's being himself in a normal state where he's a people person, a friendly person. I wonder if someone know how much money Tabby Diamond they make, boy. I wonder if someone who knows that Tabby Diamond could have never broke on no day because of the type of songs that they've seen over the years. But guess what? You just stay among the people and you refuse to change and you're simple and you carry yourself normal, even if you're a billionaire. Them treat you like you're broke. So I want to understand say, a lot of things and how artists are seen it based on how you carry yourself as an artist. Because these people have Stockholm Syndrome. Jamaican have that luck. The artists when they give a fuck about them, they run them down. I me, me, me find this comparable to the same thing. Where a woman get up every day and say they want a good man. But if a man ever really blood clot good, the woman can complain. I say, yo, mm, I'm too good. No. The common people who are criticized killer them and enough people when I come. I'm gonna tell you too. People don't look for a million entertainer because Merciless was a top flight entertainer. Yes, he's having a problem them, but who doesn't? But I say it already, I'm gonna say it again. Them people you only respect your last hit. You are as good as the last hit. Me don't feel like I only the entertainer them style merciless. If I look on the size of the crowd and what me did I expect, Clarendon feel merciless though. No disrespect. Me did that thing so I have to go park down and me and walk. Go up at I saw me a I swear to God. And there was not even traffic going to Merciless funeral. So should only the entertainers bear the brunt of the lack of respect or Merciless never get? No. Before Merciless dead, Merciless was a husband. And that is how everybody, including the industry, treated Merciless. That is why Merciless turned to a lot of them little things when he take up. That is why, because not everybody, everybody has expects that when problem come, everybody deal with it the same way. You have weak people, you have strong people, you have all type of people. That is why you have describing words. Because nobody has the same thing. So merciless deal with fame problem them in a fame way. And when he had these problems, who encouraged him? Hmm? Most people said my friend turn them up on him. Because that is what we were taught to do when we are grow up. If this person is not current, if this person is not hot, if he not do him I do for we last week, he man or nobody. And who can do it for we now? We are focused on. You want me to show you say, when you're dead, you are as good as your last hit. Him named Bogle. When Bogle dead, check Bogle. 
send off every artist in my business today. Every single one. So why someone never turn up for merciless thing? Why? Because I'm a country boy? No. Because I'm never at. When Mr. Waki dead, all them there, we all them there was one of the artists too. So everybody just feel like them for day another hype then. Because evil death no safe, no sanctity, no reverence no left in a death. It, evil death become about the individual where I go. If me can benefit me now, whether I make a benefit off of the hype or something else, me have to benefit. Yes. So merciless never had, he never have a hit when he's dead. So the crowd itself feel like I need to support that. He never had who him. They don't remember the greatness of what I'm doing and go deal with the man thing based on that thing. The funeral will be as hot as the last hit and it's sad. Sad bad. So now, I'm going to touch on another level of something where a lot of people never look upon. See? And the artists them have to look into themselves. And I'm going to show this as a class thing fam. Class. Because I've seen Duns die. Rummest thing I've ever seen in your life. Between the average man to artist to everybody. And that Dan they never sing a song for him himself. The Dan and never them co-worker about them they are the Dan them funeral and the Dan them dead. When the popular gunman dead, one whole parish turn out. Nobody can hold night church. Pay a ball in and them have jump in a grave. We could go back at Dan before that. Some of them Dan keep some of the biggest show them. And some of them artists that go down there go fight for work. You hear me just say? And then now get a dollar. And no matter where that Dan keep that show, I could have fired them there. So yes, a lot more entertainers could have been at Merciless. Funeral because them support people will not even pay them to support them. But at the same syndrome, I tell them stuck home. Them love who hate them. Some of them entertainers will support the Dan and get beaten from the same Dan and down their DJ. So yeah. We love who we hate with that are the culture where we grew up under. To me, I never bunt and be here alone, need for turn out. Holy more artists never come. Don't rest that something and square up and bunty and be in the shoulder. Because just because merciless wins thing 2000 doesn't mean say a bunty and be in here alone. Should I respect him? When we got the funeral, I was so fucking disappointed. But me tell you what hurt when we in a relationship. It's not because somebody left we know. It's not because we get born you know. It's not because it's not because of anything. For example, you're kind to somebody. And you gotta do the world for that person. Eh? You know why you're disappointed when you realize that a person that wouldn't do shit for you? It's because of how you are. And that are the mistake of most of we always make. Because you think say so you good. So automatically that means everybody good. So when you find out so that my devil, it broke with heart. And as something similar to that happened to Merciless. Especially after the Sting 2000 clash. When he realized that he was deliberately locked out of the music industry. A whole heap of artists that happened to. A whole heap of artists. I mean, I thought that from experience. The same thing they happened to. Merciless is one of the most talented artists, right? But now no also should realize they're the only talented tech. To make it in the music industry. If I did talent alone, Merciless would have sit firmly, top spot. He would have like top five most talented artists. But this is what happens when you're boss and you believe the hype. Part of Merciless' mistake was he, he believed the hype. And then when he looked and see the whole thing crumble and nobody not did it. And he became as normal as normal could get, because you know, especially Jamaicans. They don't respect normal. You have to show off, you have to hype, you have to disrespect them, you have to deal with them some type of way for them to respect you. When you respect fans, the same fans where you respect and show all that respect, they don't respect you. Know? Majority of them. It's too easy for know you. You're too easy to get along with. Merciless never perfect. But more than telling you something. A lot of people will turn to anything to get past 
how them feel whether it be smoking drinking anything we're not good for them i want to teach you something i the same music business stress merciless i know they make him do it you know don't get me wrong you know but you have to remember say, everybody have the compass there in their head where they can just find a way out that stress and how easy thing to deal with and especially in jamaica we turn a blind eye to mental illness blind eye especially if it's a man and merciless that got you a lot as it relates to hey, you know where it feel like see achieve something one you can't be yourself if you be yourself you are gonna lose all the way you achieve based on how the public see you and guess what what you achieve can only be perpetuated by the support of the same people so basically if the people don't support you what you achieve in the first place makes no sense because automatically you're gonna lose everything and them start see merciless like nobody from merciless have everything in the world hit songs one type of hit song but because him choose to remain himself this is where you can be when you're boss in a jamaica self you remain self you're in a trouble i may talk from experience them people are wicked you love them them hate you look on the people that get up every day attack for them upliftment look who first attack them people the same people you try to lead them in the right direction look who them attack Politicians are leading them in the wrong direction. Look who them praise. Stockholm Syndrome. Jamaican people full of shit when they're ready. Now, one of the high points at the funeral for me was this. Mama cooking at the greatest, oh yes, mercy less I've got to confess. Mama cooking at the greatest, I don't give up an hour, yeah, 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 No, that moment they have money nice. Don't always see real people in that way there. So when some man are coming up business with them, who no one come stay? After the funeral, a lot of people naturally have questions like, oh when I see Bunty and Bean. No. When everybody did there, I want Killer get an interview from the Observer and this is what Killer had to say. Fans of the late entertainer also expressed shock at the absence of several prominent dancehall figures in a comment on Instagram on Monday. One user said they were expecting to see Bunty Killer and Beanie Man at the homegoing service in response to that fan. Bunty Killer said he did not attend the funeral as the service was more about celebrating merciless victory against himself and Bean Man and Ninja Man at the 2000 staging of Sting than celebrating the DJ's life. Showed up when they are there celebrating Leonard's victory of house at Sting instead of his life. Did Uno all saw the fucking grade of disrespect displayed there? Then Uno all was looking for us to come share our sympathy. At the time, on a favorite rap post, so Bounty posted. Though he did not make specific reference to the exact way in which the service paid more attention to Merciless 2000 Sting Victory than his life as a leading dancer and entertainer, it has been assumed that Bounty Killer took grievance 
with a mural painted at the late DJ's graveside. In the picture, Merciless was depicted as he was in the 2000 staging of the dancehall event with the faces of the three entertainers he defeated that night in a thought cloud. The words Merciless Thing 2000 was also painted in bold. Now I see this big uproar after killer come out comes a boy. Him feel some type of way because people turn the funeral in a Sting 2000 rather than merciless memory. So that's the reason why I'm not come, you know what I mean? And basically a lot of people in the comments say, boy, oh, or if you put the man picture in a grave and this and that and read it and them take it as a disrespect. Everybody have the right to decide what is a disrespect to them and what isn't. That are the first thing you have to understand about the situation. So if killer feels some type of way because in picture in one grave, him have the right there. See? But you have other ways to look on it. See? No. I don't think the people in for merciless decide their mindset. Yes, we are put him in a grave and, and neck. Grave things reaching. We are going to make this be some sort of taboo. Because you know, we grew up on something, you picture, you know, and grave this, that, that, all type of thing. Bad luck, I go follow you. All these things where we grew up culturally believing. So, a lot of people kind of see where killer come from, right there. So, but I don't think Merciless family decide their mind. So, we are going to draw killer them in the grave because, oh, and disrespect them. We are going to draw them in the grave because, yes, and the right thing that for do, we are clone them. No, I don't mean, think of that. Was the intention. See? Who now have to remember this? If being him and I bury tomorrow, they might draw one big old Grammy on wall because that's a Grammy artist. Now, everybody where don't get a Grammy should have shy away from a Grammy because the mural of a Grammy was drawn in the grave of an entertainer. No. When being here bury, if you do something like that for being for example, or Shabba, that are the first thing that come to mind in greatest achievement. What was Merciless' biggest achievement? Now, Sting 2000, you never get no Grammy. So when somebody did, you always look for them biggest achievement. And that is what you will try to use and perpetuate this person's memory. So Merciless never get no Grammy. So the biggest thing happened for Merciless was thing 2000. Because of history. And whether me and you like it or not, it happened. And if it happened already, yes, thing 2000 in the past. But if that was the biggest achievement, what would you, if you are in family, Use the perpetuity in memory. Now that's the biggest thing everybody remember Merciless for right now. A lot of people don't know one Merciless song. Remember Sting 2000. And they don't remember Sting 2000 because they want disrespect Beanie, disrespect Killer, bring down Ninja Man. They remember Sting 2000 because it happened. And none of we can do nothing about that. See? When you are a celebrity, for example, you know much people bury as some huge fans. Berry, you know something like a merciless berry. And them draw killer or beanie or shabba or any one of them artists there. In that grave there. And we don't know. So really and truly, the disrespect is only when we know. Now if beanie them realize that it's a big fan that and them draw him a picture of him in the grave. Killer, same thing. Somebody draw a big bounty killer in our like killer biggest fan grave. I don't think that would be a problem to kill him. It depends on the context because when you draw Sting 2000 in the grave, it's now opening old wounds. Where it remind people, say Merciless did defeat three top DJ. We need to just put on the ego for a second more time and realize that them things are not so serious. People win clash, people lose clash. Bounty win whole heap clash. Beanie win whole heap clash. Ninja man, nobody mention him. Whole heap clash. If you lose one, we ego shouldn't tell us that we inferior because of that. And that's just my opinion. So if somebody even put merciless on a wall and that's a merciless greatest achievement. Like I mean, I don't see nothing wrong with that. I remember say, after that thing there no come back, come regain control and no come back come win him. You know? And the same people are criticized, you know. Know this. So me personally feel like I could have put on that. To be everything, petty thing. Put on what people think. And do the big man thing, regardless of what people think. A whole heap of things must be I them do over the years and not care when nobody think gonna just be the leader. 
so why now so if you ask me this was not a good move all right if you don't check it see Spraga Benz is a Rasta man. Spraga Benz there the funeral. Rasta not a funeral, you know. Rasta have a belief when they make the dead bury the dead. And we see Spraga Benz. So I show you so when you're really real. See? I see Spraga. I see Fantan. I don't know how much percent of Fantan still Rasta, you know. But I see Fantan. A Fantan come pay him last respect. And I respect that. And I see enough other Rasta man with them long locks in the church. Inside, not out of door. I pay them last respect to merciless. So yes, we're disappointed because merciless thing should have looked better than that as it relates to industry, especially support. You know how much people merciless help in other industry? You know how much things merciless do for your some promoter? I mean, I see none of them. Hmm? Ricky Chupa had the biggest song we turn up for merciless nine night. It's the Lexus with his brother. I see Predator, I see Fantan. See him? I see Cash Man. Little Hero, Super Black. And a couple of them, man. You know, you know what people are calling now? B class. Because they never hit. Hit skip you in know, A class, you know, because if you don't have that hit something there for them worship, you know. Hey, oh dear big artist. Wake up tomorrow and listen to a new tune, and hopefully, Ray, and this will make me a better person. I'm going to feel better about myself. Hopefully, when I see what I have for you and heal, I can get the picture. Hopefully, you don't disrespect me like last week, but I not stop support you until you actually pay me some mind. So, yes, with that said, Amen. But the artists, them, I love and respect them because they acknowledge the facts here. Who make them? Then they get no love. Dance hall is an industry. Right? May I tell you, it's not shot up. See? We're quartered there. Bro, just stay in a dance hall and you, you, you have a whole heap of pussy can come work at a boo. Some of them dance hall artists here, yeah, I don't know if you go in a go go club go work. Can a pussy. Pussy, brother. Yes, we totally understand. So enough of the man them way. No come, just couldn't make it. But I say, holy oh, people. I know people don't know that we take bus go down there. So therefore, anybody where did one go, would I go? Alright, I'll show you again. Say so, money them people are worship boy. See? Check some of them artists here. For example, when a famous jug is dead. When a popular man they were fame popularity based by riches. Check when them man they drop out and look on them funeral how much artists and see. And people, because it's when you have money, boy, and you show off about it. People show you want respect when you're normal because everybody want money. And the fact, I'll show you where you get ratings final. The fact say you did bold enough for God to go get money by whatever means necessary automatically it create a respect for you. Because these people know say, yo, that couldn't be no doubt hard for that, you know, so they rate your base on that. And them rate your based on the facts of them think you're better than them. People love and worship who them thinks are better than them. Why you think the political structure managed to stay intact in a Jamaica for so much years without an uprising, without any kind of revolution? Why? Because the people love who hate them. It named Stockholm Syndrome. Who don't know look it up? People love who hate them. You rate the man cause what? Him pass in a Range Rover today and him tomorrow him drive out in a Benz. And you not have nothing so you look down upon yourself. So automatically because him have something you look up upon him. So merciless after a while it's seen as somebody when I have nothing. And not necessarily based upon the facts that true say him not have nothing you know. But based upon the facts that him did man enough to still be himself. Even after him get success. And that the people him do. They don't know your business. You're broke. And if you're broke, I don't need to show you my support. And if you show people your support based on the facts that you think them rich, are you really supportive? Or are you just suffering from low self-esteem? Low self-worth? The facts that you rate somebody because you think of them better than you makes you a sick person. I see a lot of people also say, them like the fox and merciless family never beg anything. You so no confused? 
Remember, you know, we are living in our world now where people all start beg for their living simply because everybody likes to give them no matter kind. Now no respect people when I beg, like, I confuse the fuck. Now in a way, the everybody just like the idea so they're a part of something. Who, where's this information? I want to send them something. So if merciless family did beg, you know, them would have be a devil. Why? People don't care fall for hard times. Poor merciless family did decide to do a GoFundMe. Them would have different from a Dylan or anybody else when they decide to help out. This is the most on a hypocrite and a mad. I really are full of mad people now. Clean clothes, mad people. I'm afraid of them, you fuck. Especially when they wear a phone and can't type. But that still not changed the facts. The merciless get a great send off and it did look good. Alright, I'm a page advocate now. I don't know that normally go. See? A lot of people are killed Bounty and Beanie Man for sure. Respect to the dead. See? But how much I don't know where the man is for sure respect to the dead? Respect the living. The man side down. You're bridging. But just because I couldn't send you a phone card, you cut him off. You couldn't afford it today. You're done with him. Your sister. But you borrow her dress and she said she can't lend it, she'll use it Friday. And you're done with her. How can you demand people? Just looking at yourself, you know, not found a way of cost Bunty and Beanie and the rest of artists them. Don't even go on your own family funeral. Sit down and look at a whole heap of things. I go on yes away. A lot of people kick like us ball, all type of fuckery. Enough people were complaining about who not come, never did it. So really and truly, until we start looking at ourselves and start cherish people for who they are, simple people, humans. Stop cherish people for what they achieve. Stop cherish people for what they can afford. Stop cherish people because we think that they are better than we. Make a cherish people because them deserve to be cherished.